Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. I know that today you're not doing fine so I will not ask you that because uh, currently we are seeing a huge disaster overall all the asset classes it doesn't matter if it's a crypto or stocks everything is going down such days my friends is better to don't look at the chart unless you want to buy the dip and if you want to accumulate more cryptos and stocks but uh, if you are already invested like myself then of course uh, such days uh, are not so nice uh, to watch and uh, I suggest you to go out and do anything else and just come back when everything is calming down again because apparently it looks like that this Russia-Ukraine conflict is uh, still affecting the market a lot so it looks like that Russia is doing some military steps in Ukraine and that's why we are seeing right now everything crashing down so it's a huge disaster and no one can predict what is going on next and that's why right now if you are trading this is a very risky territory of course uh, you can also do huge gains especially if you're just shorting the market but since we don't want to short bitcoin or any other crypto uh, we are just waiting here for nice long and buy opportunities uh, right now of course uh, we are seeing this huge disastrous move down below all kind of important support levels and it doesn't uh, look like that we are going to see here anytime soon a fast recovery unless we are getting some positive news so right now everything is news driven and if you believe in your crypto especially in bitcoin uh, you don't have to worry that much you can just dca uh, on the way to the downside because sooner or later we will have a fast recovery that's for sure but the question is only when and how low we can go so we're gonna have a look in this video uh, how bad the situation is right now so this video is brought to you by delta exchange here you can trade all the cryptos that you want up to 100x leverage and if you sign up with my link that you find in the video description you can get up to thirty thousand dollars in trading bonus and next to trading here you can also just park your cryptos and get very high api and next to that you can take advantage of the robo strategies because those are trading upon the momentum especially here the top 20 momentum strategy you can see that the returns are very high even though the market is very volatile so if you aren't so successful in trading yourself then try out robo strategies so far it is working very well for me and as you can see here the results are very high and this is without doing anything so you can just use the robo strategies here and you don't have to worry about uh, trading yourself because uh, currently I still have all my longs opened I am way on the water so I don't know right now what to do because um, even though I should close my lungs for now since I'm completely underwater, I'm thinking about to just let it run and uh, add more into those positions, especially if we're reaching our most bearish targets of around 20 k because there are definitely gonna open up anyway a new long position and also buy more cryptos doesn't matter what is going on but if we're reaching levels at around 20k i definitely gonna act so and that's why i'm not uh, right now very sure if i should just close it or just add then more into this position that is already opened and of course also lower uh, the leverage because uh, in the lower time frames of course we are in a downtrend and we're crashing below all important support levels especially this one here at around thirty-seven thousand dollars but if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently we are just touching here the bottom of the Keltner channels and we are approaching now the lows that we created here at $35,000. So as long as we have daily candles or daily closes within the Keltner channels, I'm going to keep up my longs open. And I think that there is still some hope left for at least a little breather or a bounce or at least consolidation here at the bottom of the Keltner channels currently at $35,600. But the problem is that we still have negative money flow and still no buy signal and we have a lot of of room left to the downside here in the daily time frame so for now we just got a wick here below the Keltner channels but if today we're gonna close below it I probably gonna close my longs because in that case uh, we are going to see those huge moves to the downside as soon as we have daily closes below the bottom of the Keltner channels and that's why if today we're gonna close below $35,500 then be ready that things can really start to look even more ugly and what we have seen right now 
the last couple of dumps here was nothing compared to what will come especially if we have a look into nasdaq which is way way below the lows that we created here so if bitcoin would follow up with nasdaq right now then we should see the price very very soon below thirty thousand dollars for bitcoin if we're gonna have a similar huge dump like we're seeing right now over on nasdaq so be ready for that because right now bitcoin is still holding quite nicely here of course it is also dumping but for now it is holding quite nicely and things can start to really look extremely bad here if we are starting to close daily candles below the bottom of the Kelton channels and if we're gonna see the same thing like over on nasdaq and if we have a look here into the weekly time frame you can see that we are about to close this weekly candle uh, probably below the lows that we created here at around thirty six thousand three hundred dollars so if we're gonna continue here in creating lower lows then things also here in the weekly time frame are starting to look extremely bad but we still have here the 100 weekly and the bottom of the calvin channels in the weekly time frame at around thirty two thousand dollars which could act as a huge support and that's why if we have weekly candles within the Keltner channels, I think that of course we still could have some weeks to the downside, but we shouldn't immediately see that huge crash down towards our most bearish target of the $20,000 area where we have the 200 weekly moving average. So as long as we have weekly candles within the Keltner channels and above the 100 weekly moving average, we still could get heavily supported there and maybe just get some weeks to the downside here. But as soon as we have weekly closes below the 100 weekly moving average or below the bottom of the Keltner channels at around $31,000 so let's say weekly closes below $30,000 will definitely lead here into a huge crash down towards the 200 weekly moving average at $20,000 and this is where I definitely gonna accumulate way more uh, Bitcoin and if we have a look here into the lines chart you can see that if we're gonna close this week below $37,000 we will close a weekly candle below this support trend line that we created so far and things can of course then start to look extremely bearish here for the next coming weeks and months so we have to be prepared for the most bearish scenario that we could even fall down towards 20k the question is only what will you do will you just huddle and stay away from the markets or will you buy more bitcoin because at the end the goal is always to accumulate more bitcoin and never panic sell when we have circumstances like this especially if they are news driven so only take profits on the way to the upside or when everyone is greedy then of course uh, you can take some profits even though you're not selling the top but at least you're taking some profits when the time is right but when everything is dropping so crazy like we're seeing today those are usually good entry points and never good exit points so don't freak out too much if this is too much for you this dump that we have seen today not only here in the crypto market but stock market and just go away from the markets and do anything else and come back when everything is calming down again and we don't have to look at the altcoins because everything is crashing even uh, ethereum here is right at the bottom of the countless channels here in the daily time frame currently everything is depending from bitcoin so if bitcoin continues to drop the altcoins are getting decimated and also here ethereum is now approaching this last support at around 2400 dollars if we have uh, daily candles below the bottom of the Keltner channels also here very likely that we're coming down to retest the 2000 dollars area and if this one is not holding similar like over uh, in the bitcoin price at 30k area if this is not holding then watch out for the 200 weekly moving average at 1000 dollars so also here ethereum very oversold but uh, if we're gonna see continuation to the downside if we are not getting some bullish news in the russia and ukraine conflict uh, topic then uh, be sure that we are going to see this consolidation here uh, or even drop way lower and uh, you can see also in my uh, column here everything is in red and here at the end those are not altcoins those are all swiss stocks most of them so everything is completely in red the, if you hold some gold or uh, if you are invested here in oil then of course uh, you're doing great because currently uh, we are seeing a huge uh, pump especially here in the oil price you can see that we are still fighting here with the top of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame and here in the daily as well so every time we're coming down towards the nine daily um, wing average or towards the median line of the Kelton channels we always are getting supported and we always see huge bounces and of course today all the huge uh, push here to the upside over on oil so there are only two assets which are positive everything else is uh, crashing hard so there is nothing much else to say my friends currently everything is going down we just can estimate how bad it can get the more 
uh, we're getting a bearish uh, news so usually those kind of huge crashes and circumstances are a good buy opportunities especially for the long term but don't freak out to sell or anything like that if you want to trade it you can just short over on delta exchange but otherwise just try to park your cryptos where you can get some passive income some interest like here over on delta exchange otherwise check out all my other referral links to find in the video description because with most of them you can get some passive income or all also get some extra bonus if you sign up with my links and just think about to accumulate more cryptos especially bitcoin if you don't have already enough bitcoin on the way to the downside because you will never buy the absolute bottom but at least you will have a nice entry average if you just dca into bitcoin on the way to the downside because sooner or later all kind of conflicts will be gone and once the markets are starting to recover again you don't have to freak out where to buy because you already have bought all kind of dips and you're ready to ride it up once we're taking off again so I hope that you don't have a too bad day today, my friends, and that you can somehow relax and just watch out to buy a little bit more cryptos if you can. And otherwise, just stay away from the markets and come back when everything is calming down again. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. Check out all the links in the video description. Follow me all my other social media platforms. Thank you again very much for watching and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.